We had one other experience that was pretty strange that's told in True Hallucinations. I tell it because I guess you should know this, but Kat and I were in Hawaii one time in this little uh, way out on this lava flow, and we'd been taking mushrooms pretty steadily like twice a week or so. And if you do that, if you really want your world to come apart, take mushrooms every four days for 20 days, and I guarantee you, you'll be pleading for mercy at the end of it because things will have gotten so weird. So anyway, we were out on this lava flow and, and we took mushrooms and it was the third trip. And I got into this, we were inside, and I got into this dialogue with the thing on the subject of I always, it's part of every trip almost, is this, I want you to do something. I want you to give a sign in 3D. I want you to show me something in 3D. And then we got into this wrangle about the propulsion system of the flying saucer. And I was saying, you know, I want to see the ship. And he was saying, if we show you the ship, you'll understand how it works. And I'm saying, look, I'm the grower don't hold out on me and this thing was going back and forth and about that time Kat tugged on my arm and said I feel very very hot and I have to go outside so it was a great effort for both of us to move outside we could barely stand and we got outside and she kept she could not maintain her consciousness she kept like fainting I'd never seen this and um, you know I was very loaded but I, I it shouldn't have been happening and and then I went through this thing you know who are you gonna call the famous question who are you gonna call and realizing there's no one on this island who knows anything about this except me and I don't know anything about it and I'm you know slapping her around come out of it come out of it and she can but then she loses it again and it slowly dawned on me, actually not so slowly, but like over about five seconds, that she was going to die, that I had finally done it and I had pushed myself into this situation and this thing was going to happen. And I actually saw it like unfolding in my mind. I saw myself carrying her into the forest and sitting with her while she died. We had no car, we had no telephone, we had nothing. And, and then as I ran this movie again of me walking with her into the woods, I, I saw myself walking past uh, the overflow trough from the rain catchment system that gathers water. And I thought, I'll put her in water. And I stood up to take her and I was so smashed and the, it was just a sea of hallucination and I had a pair of drawstring pants I remember that came loose and fell down around my ankles so I had my pants around my ankles and I was carrying this woman Frankenstein style back through the darkness and she's absolutely out and and we get back to the trot to this thing and I lay her down on the ground and I pick up a a bucket of water and just let her have it, you know, and then another one. And then I, I realize that I figured it out and that she's going to live and that this was the thing to do. And she's now talking to me and saying, you know, do it, do more. It's burning me. Make every part of my body cold and wet. And so maybe 30 seconds has elapsed and now I'm down on the ground in the mud embracing her she's hysterical we're both laughing and crying all this thing and the forest edge is just about from me to you right there and suddenly from within the forest comes this sound of the most crazed demonic laughter you can possibly imagine. I mean, Hollywood eat your heart out. It was just absolutely appalling. And we just threw, grabbed each other and ran for the house. And um, it, was, it was never explained what it was. But somehow she had gotten more loaded then I think she had broken through to some place I've never been on mushrooms because after I brought her into the house I still I drew a bath and I kept putting her into baths and taking her out and she would go into these 
And I said, what's happening? What's happening? And she said, ferns are growing out of everything. Everything is putting off. And with three-dimensional hallucinations with eyes open. So it was a case, I think, of, of just getting very, very deeply into it. What was happening for her in those periods when I was slapping her around and trying to wake her up was she could see hovering over the house far larger than the house itself a structure made out of rods of light in which the shovel-faced mantis-like creatures were there and she said they felt like hyperdimensional pirates they were not part of the mushroom the mushroom she said was appalled that we all had been we all had run across some roving bad guys and the mushroom was saying you know let's all just hunker down here and be quiet for a few minutes and these guys will uh, go on stories lots of stories <laughs>